Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand JavaScript while loop. We are trying to understand when to use while loop. We took one of the simple example that is program to find sum of digits in a given number. User is going to give a number and we need to find out the sum of digits in that given number. The given number may contain two digits. It may contain three digits, it may contain four digits, it may contain five digits, no idea. So what we have done actually first is, first we have written a program to find the sum of digits in a given number which has two digits. What we have done, we took the last digit of the given number and we added it to sum of all digits variable and then we took the remaining digits stored in the number variable. And then from that number, we took the last digit again. We added that last digit to the sum of all digits variable. And then again, when we divided the number by 10, at the end, we got the number 0. Once the number becomes 0, we stopped the execution further and we displayed the sum of all digits. We got the 3, that is the correct result also, right? 1 plus 2 is 3. And we observed that if a number contains 2 digits, then we are executing these three statements twice. One, two, right? If a number contains three digits, what we are doing? We are doing the same thing. We are getting the last digit from the number, adding it to sum of all digits, taking the remaining digits, storing that in the number. From the remaining digits, again, we are taking the last digit, adding it to sum of all digits, taking the remaining digits. From that remaining digits, we are taking the last digit, we are adding it to sum of all digits and then we are trying to get the remaining digits, we got the value 0 in the num. Once the number becomes 0, we are not going to execute these steps again and when the number becomes 0, actually we get the sum of all digits, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 and then we display that and we observe carefully, we are executing these three statements repeatedly, right? One two, three times if the number contains three digits. If the number contains four digits, we are executing these three statements four times. One, two, three, four. Same statements. We know that loops are used to execute a single statement or set of statements repeatedly. We can execute these three statements repeatedly with the help of loops, right? One of the problem we have here is we don't know that how many digits the given number is going to contain. We don't know how many number of times these three statements we need to execute repeatedly. Here we don't have any idea how many number of times a set of statements we need to execute. So the best option is using the while loop. We found that the while loop is used when we don't know how many number of times the loop is going to get executed. So what we have done, the three statements that we are executing repeatedly we placed inside the while loop and this while loop is going to execute until the number don't become 0. Once the number becomes 0, the control comes outside and displays the sum of all digits. As I told that, I am going to explain this code in this uh, video tutorial by tracing. We understand how this code is executing. Let's take for the small number 12 first. I say file, save, minimize it. I right click on default 4.html, open with the Google Chrome. You can see that it is displaying 3. Sum of all digits is 3. That is good. I go to options, go to more tools, select developer tools. Here we have a sources panel in that we have the source code. I put the breakpoint here. I add some watch expressions. I add a watch expression for num. I add watch expression for last digit. And I add a watch expression for sum of all digits. Okay, I refresh to pause the execution on line number 9. Now on line number 9, the execution is paused. The number is undefined, last digit is undefined, sum of all digits is undefined. Now we step over, step over, num has 12, step over, last digit is 0, step over, sum of all digits is 0. Now the condition is going to be checked. Whether number is not equal to 0, number is 12, 12 is not equal to 0 is true. As the condition is true, the control goes inside the loop. Right? Now we get the last digit. Number is 12. 12 more 10, we get 2. 2 will be stored in the last digit. 
you see the last digit is 2 now we add that 2 to sum of all digits sum of all digits is 0 last digit is 2 step over now the sum of all digits has become 2 this time the number is 12 12 by 10 is 1.2 percent will store 1 in the number you see that the number is now 1 so once the execution is done again the condition will be checked whether 1 is not equal to 0 yes 1 is not equal to 0 control goes inside 1 more 10 will be 1 1 will be stored in the last digit you see the last digit has 1 now that 1 we are going to add to sum of all digits sum of all digits is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 3 will be stored in sum of all digits you see sum of all digits is 3 and then the number is 1 1 by 10 is 0 0.1 0 will be stored in the num now the condition will be checked again whether 0 is not equal to 0 no 0 is equal to 0 so this condition becomes false control comes outside the while loop and displays sum of all digits on the screen you see sum of all digits is 3 you can see only two times this loop got executed that depends upon the number of digits in the given number interesting right now let me change the value to 1 2 3 file save go to browser and refresh now the program execution is paused on the line number 9 num last digit sum of all digits all are undefined step over num is 123 last digit is 0 sum of all digits is set to 0 now the condition will be checked whether 123 is not equal to 0 yes it is true control goes inside 123 mod 10 we get 3 in the last digit see that we got 3 now that 3 will add to sum of all digits 0 plus 3 is going to be 3 sum of all digits is 3 now now 123 divided by 10 will be 12.3 percent will store 12 in the num so now the 12 is stored in the num again the condition will be checked whether 12 is not equal to 0 yes it is true control goes inside 12 more 10 we get 2 in the last digit now you see that last digit we got we add that 2 to the sum of all digits 3 plus 2 is going to be 5 so sum of all digits is 5 now the number is 12 12 by 10 is 1.2 only 1 will be stored in the number see num has 1 again the condition will be checked whether 1 is not equal to 0 yes 1 is not equal to 0 control goes inside 1 mod 10 will be 1 so 1 will be stored in the last digit then that 1 we are going to add to sum of all digits 5 plus 1 is going to be 6 now 1 divided by 10 is going to be 0 0.1 0 will be stored in the num whether num is not equal to 0 0 is not equal to 0 is false because 0 is equal to 0 as this condition becomes false the control comes outside displays the sum of all digits is 6 you can see that with the help of while loop we can find sum of all digits in a given number much more efficiently so this is a place where we don't know how many digits the given number is going to contain the user may enter something like this now it has 6 digits for this also the program works perfectly so 15 plus 5 is 20, 20 plus 1 is 21. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see, the output is displayed 21. Hope you understood how the while loop works and when to use the while loop. Remember that when we don't know how many number of times the loop is going to get executed or how many number of times the single statement or set of statements need to be executed, we use the while loop. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough, friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly in the next video tutorial we get more information on javascript for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial